Hi, I'm Miss Fame, and today we are going to make something special. PewDiePie needs an armor, and we have all the materials right available in the shop. So why not make our own armor? Since PewDiePie is such a weeb, we had the idea of inspiring our armor on ancient samurais, and of course, some cyberpunk. We're gonna combine both those genres together, add some PewDiePie references, and make our own amazing armor. Let's get to it. The planning stage is crucial because the armor has a lot of layers and LEDs. We have to really think about placing each individual piece. The PewDiePie armor is mostly made out of high density foam that we glue together with either contact cement or super glue. If we make a small mistake, that's not a big problem, but we want the overall image to look great. Mist Fain works on the torso, I'm going to focus on the gauntlets. To save some time, Hub Wizard will use his laser cutter to cut out some very nice PewDiePie references. So thanks to Hope Wizard's detailed laser cutting skills, we got ourselves a couple of bro fists and some extra details that we can implement into our armor. Such as Edgar and Maya, which we will be able to put on the shoulder pads. So each shoulder has their own different cute doggo. We also have loads, and I mean loads, of bro fists. We're gonna put a couple in the collar, maybe some secret bro fists somewhere around the armor. This is a big bro fist with LED foam. We're going to put LEDs on the back, put them on the back of the armor, and then our bro fist will illuminate through the dark. Same with the spine. So we're gonna all try and implement them into the armor and get as much detail in there as possible. We also have our own tambourines. Now that we've gotten all the details, let's go. I'm also adjusting the back piece so I can implement some LEDs. When that's done, I'll start working on the samurai helmet. Since the dome has a more organic shape, I'm using the flexible black foam. Normally we're covering all the ugly edges and seams with quick seal. Since we don't have much time, we're using foam dowels. So we just put on some foam dowels on the seams and make it look like it's supposed to be like this. Not only are we putting the foam pieces together with contact cement and super glue, we also thought of implementing rope and modern buckles to give it that cyberpunk look. So we made our core military suit, but of course it's a little bit too plain. So we've made a couple of these extra details that we're just gonna attach to the suit so that it will look extra cool. And it's simply done by using contact cement. It is just gluing foam together. And afterwards, it's priming and painting.
Okay, and that's it. That's the last piece that we had to glue down for the foam armor to be finished. We know PewDiePie doesn't have legs, but we're still gonna make the leg pieces. This whole procedure was gluing down straps, gluing down buckles, and gluing down foam on top of foam on top of foam. The next step will be plasti dipping it or priming it so that we can paint it afterwards and finish the whole build. Of course, this is not only armor, we also have to do small fabric parts to make it look really cool. And when everything is done, we just put on our costume and head to the photoshoot location, which is the Japanese gardens. That was our version of the PewDiePie armor. I have to thank the Herb Wizard for helping me out, Skyshark, and especially the shop for giving us this great opportunity to build everything together. Look at Kraft!